Three aspects that you should never underestimate for your Indian wedding in Italy. Hello everyone, I'm Svetlana from Best Indian Weddings Italy, the first and only wedding planning agency in Italy specialized in Indian weddings. Every day I help Indian brides and grooms-to-be realize their authentic Indian celebrations in the most beautiful country in the world. I'm running this series of videos called SOS Indian Weddings in Italy with useful tips and advice that you won't find anywhere else. And if you are looking to host your Indian celebrations in Italy, then please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to always keep updated with the new videos every week. The topic of this week is three aspects that you should never underestimate for your Indian wedding in Italy. Today I want to talk about some of the most important aspects that every Indian couple should attentively evaluate before moving forward with the planning of their Indian wedding in Italy. I will focus on three of these aspects, even if there are more to check. However, these ones are pivotal, the basis of the success of your Indian wedding in Italy. And if not considered from the beginning, they can truly compromise your celebrations and make you live a nightmare instead of a memorable event. So please pay attention to them and watch the video until the end. Indian couples often think that planning their wedding abroad could be more or less the same than planning the wedding back home. It's just a matter of finding the right place where they can picture themselves on their wedding day. So that they go through hundreds of pictures on Instagram, check other Indian weddings held in Italy so far, see if they love the style of those venues, and once they find some that appear beautiful to them, they feel relaxed because they have a range of venues to choose from. The biggest part of the work is done, now they just need to choose one and start dreaming about their glorious Indian celebrations there. It seems quite easy at the first glance, isn't it? At the end, you just need some time for that, to browse the internet, to save the pictures you like the most, to go through their accounts and to send the same request to all of them and then wait for a quote. In most of the cases, after three or four days of such work, couples start having such a confusion in their head and all those venues start looking like the same one to them and they feel overwhelmed. But let's say you are a very methodical person and can easily keep your researches organized so that after a few days of browsing you are able to select only those venues that you like the most without being confused by similar views and styles. And now, is it done? I wish it would be the easy, but it's exactly here where the first important aspect pops out. And the very first question that you must ask yourself while browsing Instagram on the hunt of the views that makes you dream is, is it possible to realize an authentic Indian celebration in this place? Italy is full of beautiful places, of amazing venues, there are thousands of them. It's not by chance that Italy is nominated the most beautiful country in the world. But not all of the venues are suitable for an Indian wedding. In fact, this is one of those aspects that often go overlooked or underestimated and an Indian couple, like any other couple, understandably looks first at the beauty of the place, at the views that the location offers, at the style and grandeur of a venue and at the second place at the price. Hence, it's absolutely understandable. It's what you would do back home, so why shouldn't it work also in Italy? Unfortunately, many Italian venues don't work for an Indian wedding, 
and many Italian service providers aren't able to deliver an authentic Indian event. And if you don't find it out at the very beginning, you risk having to renounce a part of your wedding and to settle for a standard event with very few elements of Indian culture. And even if a venue has already hosted an Indian wedding before, you don't know what that couple wanted and had for their wedding. Maybe they too had to renounce a part of their Indian traditions because it wasn't possible at that venue. And now that venue or that service provider has an Indian wedding in their portfolio to attract other Indian couples who are unaware of those issues and think they are dealing with an experienced provider. My mantra is that Indian weddings are different from all other weddings. If you don't study Indian traditions, don't go deeply in details about specific needs of Indian weddings. If you don't understand exactly how to realize the kind of celebrations that an Indian couple has in mind based on their religious and regional background, you aren't able to deliver an authentic Indian wedding. And it's what happens with most of Italian service providers. They are all generic providers. They do events for couples of all nationalities. And they don't have time to study your traditions. For this reason, it's extremely important that you check from the beginning that that planner or that wedding service provider is truly prepared to bring to life authentic Indian celebrations and that you won't need to renounce something truly important to you if you go with them. Okay, and what about venues? How to understand if a venue is suitable for an Indian wedding? In fact, the second aspect that you absolutely have to consider when looking at venues is the variety of the spaces and the plans B. Pay attention, I said plans, plural, because you need more than one. All Italian venues, a hundred percent of them, are generic venues. You won't find any that are specialized in Indian weddings. And in most of the cases, the weddings they do are made up of a short ceremony or even without one because a couple gets married in a church or in a town hall and the reception immediately after, that's it. And they don't expect that your event is structured differently. In fact, for a non-Indian couple, it's not a matter having a standing ceremony, for example. It's quite short, just 10 minutes more or less, and if the space is small and just fits an arch and some chairs for the elderly, other guests can be left standing, that's absolutely fine. And it's also fine having the reception dinner indoors, with the guests split into two or three rooms, because the main one is not big enough for everyone. But in the end, they just have to eat with the background music, nothing special. Also because they then move to a different room for dancing after dinner and it's there where the party and fun begin. And of course, all of that for the duration of a dinner, that's it. Have you found something similar to Indian celebrations in this description? I know, your answer is no. Your wedding is structured differently, period. And if you don't make clear it to the venue, if you don't check thoroughly the capacity of all the spaces, both indoor and outdoor, you risk confirming with a venue that is, yes, beautiful and has a beautiful view, but it doesn't work for your Indian wedding. Only on the wedding day you need one space for the ceremony and the second one for the wedding lunch. And then you have a cocktail hour and the reception and the space must fit not only all of your guests together, but also a dance floor. 
all of that both outdoors as it would surely be your main wish but also indoors because no one knows how the weather will be on your wedding day and you would surely have some pre-wedding events on the previous days to organize so all the spaces you need must correspond to your request. And what is the third aspect? The Indian food, of course. I know how important Indian food is to Indian people. It's not by chance that I'm the specialist in Indian weddings. But do other planners, venues or catering companies know that? Italians are very proud of their cuisine. It's really delicious, fresh, and can be plated in many beautiful ways, so that also the eyesight is satisfied. In 99% of the cases, an Italian provider will lead you to accept Italian food for all of your events. How can you go without Italian food? You are in Italy and you must have Italian food for your events while you can have Indian food every day back home. But it's your wedding, and since respecting traditions also means having Indian food at at least at religious events, it's not a point that you don't have it just because you are in Italy. I have already explained how to make sure you can have Indian food in one of my previous videos. If you haven't seen it, please do if you don't want to renounce Indian food at your wedding in Italy. There are several aspects you need to consider for that, such as if a venue has an exclusive food provider you must go with, or if you are free to bring the one at your choice, then whom you could actually hire to provide Indian food at your wedding if there are local providers or if you must bring someone from outside Italy and if they would be allowed to work at that venues. The cost of Indian meals is different from the Italian ones, so all of that must be considered if you won't have Indian food at your wedding in Italy. As you see, these three aspects alone would make sure your Indian wedding in Italy is successful if you thoroughly verify them from the very beginning and not after you have confirmed with a venue or signed with a planner or other service providers. Now you understand that nothing must be taken for granted and that Indian weddings in Italy work differently than back home. And if you want to achieve an authentic Indian celebration without renouncing any element of Indian traditions that you need to thoroughly verify if a venue is truly suitable to host an Indian wedding, if it has a good variety of the spaces of your capacity, both indoor and outdoor, if you can have Indian food, and if the suppliers you choose are truly able to deliver the wedding as you imagine it to be. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video that I hope can truly help you with planning your beautiful Indian wedding in Italy. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe to my channel, follow Best Indian Weddings Italy on Facebook and Instagram, comment in the past and I will be happy to answer. See you next week!